was this synergy between um, Nick and Vex, right? So there are going to be a lot of rogues out there called Nicky Vex. And, uh, you know, I've already seen it on Reddit. And so um, there are properties to mastery of certain weapons now, right? So it's all this kind of synergy. So there's the weapon, there's the properties, and then there's do you have mastery of that property, right? So building this uh, this rogue, one thing that uh, you can do is there are three things that interact, right? So there's the light property of a weapon. That's mm. there's there's these two properties, and that's one is Vex and one is Nick. So how do they work together? Well, if you use a light weapon, right, like rogues do, so short swords and um, and daggers and uh, scimitars. I did not realize that scimitars were going to be fall in this category. But the main thing here is the rapier that was so like iconic for rogues. That's gone because it doesn't have the light property. It has the finesse property, but it doesn't have the light property. So you're going to miss out on this whole synergy thing that we're talking about, which is fine, you know, if you don't want to do this. But but there's an advantage to doing this. So you have the light property of the weapon, and the light property says when you take the attack action on your turn and you attack with a light weapon, you can make one extra attack as a bonus action later in the same turn. Now that extra attack must be made with a different light weapon. So you can't just use your scimitar twice, right? You can't just use your uh, sword, short swords twice. You can't use two daggers, right? Or you can use I think you can use I think you can use the same the same type Maybe? of light weapon. It's oh. it's it's an all, it's the other hand. I it's think is the, the important is my understanding of it. We're still I mean we spent what? I, we we spent yeah. 10 minutes talking about it probably cumulatively and could have spent 20 minutes more talking about it but it, yeah. you know this Well that's what this is for. So, you know. And then it says you don't well you don't add your attack or your ability modifier to the extra attacks right. attack damage. So that's similar to what happened in the the 2014 rules. And it, and it continues, uh, for example, you can take a uh, attack with a short sword in one hand and a dagger in the other hand using the attack action and a bonus action, but you don't add your strength or dexterity modifier to the damage roll of the bonus action unless that modifier is negative. So having said that, <laughs> the if you use the first weapon and the weapon has Vex and you have mastery over Vex, Vex the Vex property reads... You hit a creature with this weapon and deal damage to the creature. You have advantage on your next attack roll against that creature, which is really huge for you know um, rogues, right, or anybody really. Before the end of your next turn, you have advantage. So you don't have yeah. an advantage on your next turn. It doesn't carry over the next turn, but but for your bonus action. But here's the fun part with Nick is when you make an when you make the extra attack of the light property right you can make it as part of the attack action instead of the bonus action so now my second attack my my opposite hand attack is not a bonus action it's part of the regular action because of the nick property so so but you can only make this extra attack once per turn so this is this is a lot of words but basically what it says is i got a short sword I swing with it. This is a Vex weapon, so I get advantage on my offhanded attack. My offhanded attack, attack doesn't take up my bonus action anymore. It becomes part of my attack action. So now I have a, basically a two-handed attack, right? And um, and then I have a bonus action. So I can do other stuff. Which you have, and you, yeah, as a rogue, you have plenty of stuff to do with that bonus action. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So you can move. There's steady aim. Steady aim is like you don't move, but like you give yourself advantage on an attack, which is insane for a uh, because you used to, with a rogue, you used to have to find somewhere to hide, or you used to have to have uh, uh, a, an ally that was within five feet of the person, the 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 creature or whatever you were attacking, in order to get your surprise or your uh, sneak attack bonus which is huge you know and uh yeah so this is this is an interesting it's a it's um this is important for rogues you know if you don't know this this is important